So how much do you think you sent him? Once I checked the Cash App log, it said 4,000. I was like, yeah, like I was working a lot and I had like a lot of money saved up. Girl, call your mom. Tell her to come here. <laughs> we need to talk. Are you kidding? I wish I was. This is insane. This is crazy. Yeah. I never thought I'd be doing this. That's how it starts. Hi, Neve and Cammie. My name is Zach. I'm a 31-year-old living in Milwaukee. While I've made a living off of photographing weddings, I myself have never been particularly lucky in love. No, it shouldn't hurt. I try my best to meet women and have been on almost all the dating sites. Nothing seems to pan out. Last July, though, I met a woman named Lexi online. She was beautiful and fun, we messaged just about every day, and have been talking on the phone. For the first time in years, I actually feel hope for my love life. But Lexi lives in Minnesota, so it should be easy enough to meet, but we haven't been able to. Over and over. I can't say for sure I'm being catfished, but I don't want to ignore any warning signs. I've been burned in the past and need to be sure before I invest more time into this relationship. Oh, I could sure use your help. Zach, tell us about her. She's a little younger than me. She's in her early 20s. She says that she's in school and she says she works like nights and weekends as a bartender. She's really nice, she's smart, and she's definitely above average attractiveness which is kind of a red flag, because my experience is that that just doesn't happen in online dating. That's rare for me. The other red flag that I should mention is that she you know, will occasionally ask for like lunch. So I sent her a Chipotle gift card. She's asked for it since I, and I've said no. She just is asking for lunch money? It's a little weird, but you would already said no now a few times, so it doesn't sound like someone who is just in it to scam you. Yeah, she's somebody who I talk to regularly. You know, she's usually the one that reaches out too, which is the reason that I wanna keep talking to her because that's nice, it makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. And it's also the reason why I'm kind of hesitant because I'm used to always putting in the effort and it not being reciprocated. And we've made plans to meet that have fallen through. What were those? One time she was gonna fly here and then my schedule got flipped around. And then there was one time I think we were gonna meet up by her. And again, my schedule has just been kind of crazy. So it's actually been you mostly it's that's mostly had to been cancel me plans. That, yeah. Interesting. And you guys have never talked about FaceTiming? I don't love FaceTiming. I get super awkward. You're not pushing for it. Nope. And you're canceling plans. So she could be thinking that you're actually the catfish. I never thought about that, but yeah. You guys save your snap messages? There's not a ton, if you wanna. Oh, there's voice notes? Traffic is literally the worst, but happy birthday to your grandma. It's a sweet voice. I hope you know that my feelings for you are genuine at this point. It's not all about being spoiled and whatever. Nope, she sent you a gym pic. She said anything for you. She's cute. <laughs> oh, she said, can we have Chipotle again? She's obsessed with the Chipotle. And you said, ugh, I'm sorry, kind of tight right now. And she said, oh, no worries. She said, you excited to meet? You said, so excited. She said, when are you going to spoil me? And you said, I'm sorry, it's the slowest time of year right now. And she said, not even $25 Chipotle? Yeah, who likes Chipotle then? The Chipotle allowance is concerning to me. But it's not like she's just texting him to ask for money. They're sprinkled you know, in. Look, no! I'm just saying, I can understand concerns, but I can also imagine a scenario where this is not Deceptive. You're the one who's avoided FaceTiming, and it's your schedule that's preventing you from meeting up. Maybe she has really good intentions and wants to meet up with you. In the meantime, once in a while, you can send her 20 bucks for some Chipotle. It's not impossible. This is kind of the longest you've talked to a girl. Yeah. For anybody to talk consistently for almost a year, that's a lot. Surely there's a connection there that you yeah. must feel. Definitely. There's a girl in a car over there, a blonde girl in a car. Oh. Hi. What? Lexi, right? Lacey. Sorry, say again? Lacey. Lacey. Yes. Hi. Neve. Uh, I'm here. And are you? Lexi. Lexi? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> so confused. 
Sorry, this is Lacey? Lacey. Lacey, yes. hi, I'm Cammy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I'm Zach. Zach. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So can you, sorry, explain. So I am the voice of Lexi. Okay. I have a partner who does not want to be here. When you say partner, do you mean like a partner in crime? Or partner like a person that you're in a relationship with? No, uh, just a friend. Okay. They are talking to Zachary, and I've hopped on and sent a few voice messages. The voice sounds familiar. Myself. So the phone calls and the voice notes were you? Yes. But the text messages were all this other mystery partner. Correct. For okay. why? Basically, free food. Um, there's kind of just like a lot of guys on the internet that are wanting to talk to a young, pretty girl and are willing to send money, send gift cards. And personally, I'm tired of men and the way that they objectify women. And so I'm like, sorry, like if you want to objectify women and are willing to just send money when you don't know anything. That's not objectification, is it? To want to talk to a pretty it, That's girl on a dating or... app that you match with that is also supposed to be there for dating? Come on. You gotta know that's bull Tricking guys into thinking that you might be interested in them and then lying to them so that they send you money and food, that's like pointing the finger at a fish for getting caught in a net and being like, dumb fit. Like, yeah, but you put a net there. I'm sure there are plenty of guys who unsolicited will just be gross and inappropriate and objectify right. you, but like you can't really consider it a, a, an excuse. You don't know exactly everything that your partner has been saying to them. Like you just don't know. You're right, I don't know. I don't know a lot, that's why I'm like. Right. It's kind of their thing. Like I don't catfish people personally, like but they're doing this, so. I'm just kind of helping them out with my voice. Because they're a good friend? Or because you get in on the Because they're a good friend, money. and then also because, yeah, they give me some of the money that they get, so. Listen, you're scamming guys for money, you and your partner, and facilitating is still being a part of it, and that's not right or fair. That's, that's a good point. I can't even argue with that. That's, that's true. Do you guys usually just ask for Chipotle, or is there other stuff? There's some money. How, How much, much do you think has been Enough. Like total, Gifted. all the guys. How much is enough? This too. Like in the thousands? I don't want to say it like helps. exactly how okay. much. Got it. How many guys would you say you've talked to? I don't even know. So like more than ten? Yeah. This is from Marcella. Lay it on me, I'm listening. Hey, Neve yeah, and Cammy. I'm writing in hopes that you can help my brother, Jason. He's 32 years old and lives in. California, and he's being catfished. For the last two months, he's been talking to someone he met on a hookup app. At first, it seemed like harmless fun, but now I'm worried. They've never talked on the phone, never video chatted, and Jason has been stood up twice. Some folks really don't listen much. But here's the kicker. I found out that Jason has been sending money to this person. Jason is putting up with all of this because he recently went through a bad breakup. I think he's putting all of his hopes into this new relationship, but I'm afraid Jason is going to get hurt again. Forget hurt, he's getting scammed. Jason is a pastor and always wants to see the best in people, but I know it's gonna land him with another broken heart. Please help Marcella. But Jacked is like a location-based app, right? How did you guys match in the first place? I was in Las Vegas on vacation. My last day there, I was bored, so I'm like, let's see who was around. Bam, his profile showed that he was two miles away from me. So I hit him up. The conversation is there. Just to wake up in the morning and have someone text you good morning makes you feel good. He makes me feel like, like I'm wanted. He texts me. I'm going to work. If his day is slow, we'll have a little conversation. But sometimes I am a kind, afraid to text back when he's at work because he always wants me to get him an Uber. Okay. <laughs> you mean like to go to or home from work? Yeah. What? Wait, you actually call the Uber in your app? 
No, so I I sent him money. Hmm. Jackson. Me personally, I don't think he's doing anything malicious with it because he always says he's gonna pay me back. Has he? No, he hasn't paid me back. I sent him over like five hundred dollars. How are you sending him the money? So I'm sending him the money um, through his friend's cash app. His friend's cash app? Jason! Deep breath, Jason, deep breath. I'm so nervous. It's like I'm gonna throw up. What was the... Oh! What? Oh my god, that's crazy. Get the f out of here. <laughs> oh. I mean, do I have to like clean my computer screen? Am I seeing this right? I can't. Well, hello. Uh, I'm not sure what to say. We're all a little dumbfounded here. Are you serious? Mar, is that your name? No, my name is actually Omar. Oh, oh Omar. that makes sense. Okay. I see yeah. that now, yeah. Yeah, I'm 21. I live in Vegas. Has it been you the whole time? Yeah, it's been me this whole time. I just didn't want him to know who I am, like, like my name and everything. That's the reason why I was having him cash at my friend instead of me. But what would be so bad about him knowing your name? I don't get it. I didn't want him to, like, think that I was really, like, wanting to really, really be with him, and I didn't want to be with him. What? But why would you text me and tell me that you love me and you want to get married? Like, I mean, why would you do that? Because you kept sending me money, so why not? And you didn't ever expect me to FaceTime you or none of that. So, you know, it was easy money. He's pretty much, you know, my sugar daddy. Sugar daddy? I wish I could come to the screen right now. Sugar daddy, that's funny. I can't own up to it. I used them for his money. And you know, it's that pandemic. You know, he was a good target. And I feel like he's stupid. Like, come on now. What what other way I could say it? Like, he's really stupid. And that's no tea, no shade. Like, there's no tea. But you led, like, but you led me on. You led me on. I mean. Do you have a job? I work on the strip. So what did you do with all this money that I sent you? Um, you know, bought me expensive stuff, shoes. Honestly, I told you I needed an Uber, but I didn't need an Uber. I got a whole car. I live paycheck for paycheck. Half of the money I was giving you was from bills because I thought that you were in trouble. You needed help. I mean, you led me on. The text is in the morning and, and, and you know, me telling you, you know, my deep, darkest secrets and I thought we had something. I felt like I could trust you, Mar. I don't open up. Not at all, but I thought I could open up to you. You don't have no morals or no standards. You're a scam artist. You can't put it all on me because at the end of the day, you kept sending money even after you felt like something was strange. But that's such bull He acted out of generosity and love and hopefulness. And you acted out of greed and selfishness. And so there is shame on you, but not on Jason. Do I feel sorry? Um, I bet no. you don't. I don't. <laughs> figures. You can get your money back. I'll, I'll send you your money back. Can you do it now? Yeah. OK, let's see it. I'm going to send it to him after the show. Yeah. Dear Neve and Candy, my name is William. I'm a roofing contractor living in Jonesboro, Arkansas. I've been talking to this girl named Carmella for about three months now. She lives about two hours from me in Little Rock. We met on Facebook dating and then we exchanged phone numbers and we started texting and then calling every day. Constantly laughing and in a good mood when we're talking. This is what I felt like when I met Laura. She makes me feel confident about myself, not just my appearance, but even if I'm having trouble at work or in life. Even though we have yet to meet, our feelings have grown stronger and stronger for each other. 
However, she says that because of past relationship, she's scared to meet in person. Anytime I try to FaceTime, she always has an excuse. If I bring it up too much, she can get upset. Can you tell me how you feel? Cause I don't know how you feel. So, I've tried to be patient and wait. But at this point, it's been three months. I'm writing you to ask for your help to meet her. I feel like with a third party there, she'll feel more safe meeting me. I just want to show her how much I care about her and finally meet her, William. How's everything going? Good, how are y'all? Good. Good, I'm Cammy. Nice to meet you, nice Carmella. Nice to meet you too. Nice well, to meet you, Will, Carmella. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> All right, happy to meet you. Nice to um, meet y'all. <laughs> um, obviously, you're not the girl in the pictures. Right. Is that, why don't you kind of explain um, the, the situation? Uh, well, of is? course, like, the body pictures were fake, of course. Okay. Um, the face pictures were me. They're just very edited with face app. Wow, okay, so that photo you sent in the car and all the other face shots, those are all you. Right, right. And so, and then that's primarily the issue that you were concerned about revealing. Right. But surely, I mean, having talked to him for the last three months so much, and him being so open-minded and, and accepting from what I understand of everything you've told him. Don't you think he might have handled that better if you told him the truth early on? What was it that you thought would be so hard for him to accept about you? Um, mostly my weight. It wasn't my intention to lie. I was just going through a really rough breakup. And after that, I just started catfishing guys for attention. Guys, plural? Yeah, kind of a little attention whore, I guess. There were other guys you were talking to that you met online. I mean, I've probably talked to like five, six thousand guys. Whoa. Wait, what? Five or six thousand? Thousand. Wow. So you just just through different dating apps, or primarily Facebook or Um, Tinder mostly. Okay, so you talk to them to just get for, attention. Just attention just when for I'm fun. bored. They just send me like money and stuff. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How much money? Um, in the past year, I've probably made 10, 15,000. So this isn't just about your weight, your insecurity, because it sounds like a lot of those guys you're kind of scamming. I guess. I, I mean, I don't like tell them we're gonna be together or, or anything for the money. Like, so I feel like they shouldn't have very high expectations. If you're gonna s send a random bitch on Snapchat money, I mean, so at the time that you met William, you were flirting with lots of guys. So Will was essentially a target that you were like, oh, here's another cute boy. I'll send him all these hot pictures and I'll eventually get money from him, right? I mean, that was it. Right. But I don't send money online. Well, no, but well, did luckily. she ever ask for it? No. Are you talking to any of those people now? Because that's a lot of people to be talking to. No, ever since me and him started talking, I've pretty much cut everybody else off, any other guys. Like, my feelings for him are real. That's a little hard to believe, though, given what you just told us. Right, right. Here's an email from Kamara. So the email says, Dear Neve, Amy, and Cleo. And Biggie. And Biggie. My name is Kamara. Four years ago, I met my best friend, Vonnie. We actually work together here in Richmond, Virginia. I'm sending you this email because I've been concerned about Bonnie's relationship with a guy he met online named Andrew. Uh oh. Andrew's everything that Bonnie wants in a guy, and they're getting very serious. Bonnie is the sweetest guy, but he's young. He's pretty naive. And he is so in love with Andrew. 
but Andrew won't FaceTime. Isn't that crazy? You love to FaceTime. I know Vani has asked him, but Andrew just gives him excuses. And he wants Vani to move to Michigan to be with him. Which is crazy if they haven't even video chatted yet. What if he's not real? What if he's right. not real? You don't know anything. To make matters worse, I just recently found out that Vani has been sending Andrew money. Oh man. Can we get a face palm like this? Vani has been cheated on more than once, and I know he is still vulnerable. So when I heard how shady Andrew's been, I knew I had to do something. I really need your help to see if this guy is real. It'd be awesome if he really is Vani's true match, and I'm completely wrong, but I doubt it. I hope you can help my friend before it's too late. Thank you very much, Kamara. Okay, yeah. and when you're talking to him, tell, tell us about the conversations and what he's like. He is calm, he is funny, he likes to tell jokes. He makes me feel good, like he likes to compliment me every day. He makes me more confident. And he helped me emotionally too. It's something new for me because I've been through a lot. Like the words he tell me, I never heard from the other boys. Plus he older, I always dealt with younger. How old is he exactly? 26. Okay. What does he do? He an entrepreneur. He said that he want to start a business of selling bouncer houses for kids. So what does he do currently? Currently, unemployment. That's all I know, unemployment. He's trying to get it together. Yeah. Kamara told us that she thinks you and Andrew have talked about him like saying, come move to Michigan. Is that true? Oh my God, she said everything. When he was telling me about the entrepreneur stuff he want to do, I'm like, oh, I can help you. He want me to quit my job, to go up there. Wait, do we even know where he lives in Michigan? He's in Detroit, Michigan. OK, so he lives in Detroit. But he lives in Detroit. He's now on unemployment, and he wants for you to quit your job to join him on unemployment to figure out what he's going to do? No. It's like half and half. One side of me want to go so bad. Like... That's not even sustainable. He won't send you pictures, but he asked you to send him money? Yes. How did that come up? It just came out of nowhere. He just said, hey, can you send me some money for some food? I'm like, okay, here you go, $25. Oh, I gotta give me a haircut, $35. And one time I just sent him $275 randomly. Why? Because I'm in love. So you're a sugar daddy. And has it all been through one app? App okay. It just goes to his phone number. Mm -hmm. Has he done anything nice for you? Has he? Paid you back? Well, when I sent him $25, he sent me $10 back just because he said he didn't need the whole thing. That's a good move, because it says you can trust me. He sure knows how to take his time. Right. Oh. Hey, who, who is this? I'm Keandre. Keandre? So you're Andrew? Yes. Well, hello. Vanya, do you know who this person is? No. Keandre, do you know Vani? No. OK. We have a lot of questions, but I don't want to get in the way of you guys, or, or in, in this case, you, Keandre. I don't know if you want to say something to kind of get things going here, but obviously you have some explaining to do. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it started off as um, a, a scheme. Um, scheme? Yeah. Like, I've been catfishing for um, about to about a year and a half, two years. Um, I have a female profile, which is Venus. You Venus too? Yeah, I am Venus. I've been doing this for a year and a half. So yes, I've been, I scam people. Um, COVID was going on when I started to make the page and it went off from there. And I just started scamming people. I didn't have no money. Um, I had no income, no nothing. So I had to make a quick way to get money. And that's how I, that's how I decided to do it. So you let me on for six months, talk about love. You talk about living together. Was that real or? When I started, it was to get money out of him, but it ended up turning into something different and it just went too far. Everything was real. I just wasn't the first in the pictures, obviously. Well, it wasn't real because even though you're saying you like Bonnie now, you initially met him and presumably lots of other people to scam them. Yes, and paying my bills. So yeah, I did. So you was talking to multiple people while you was talking to me? Like doing it with other people while you was talking to me at the same time? Yeah, you don't have no money. 
you weren't going to pay my bills. How else I supposed to do it? I did what I did. It's over. It's happened. Okay. Oh well. I scam people. You see me, I see you. Like, what's the problem? The problem is scamming people. That's the problem. Okay. Well, I did it. I'm here. So now what? So this is your main source of income. Yes, it is. How many people do you think you've talked to in total using the profiles over the last year and a half? It's been hundreds. Okay, so a lot, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And and about how many of those relationships or those conversations end up making it to the level where they're sending you money? Um, mostly all of them. That's wow. how I make the money. That's how I make the money I make. So you're pretty good at this. Yes. I, I do what I do, like I don't see a problem with it. You don't see a problem with catfishing and, and scamming Scamming? No. You're old enough to know what to do and what not to do, and what not to do to get scammed, like what? Right. But then you could also make the argument that you're old enough to know that scamming people is wrong. To you is wrong, to me it's not wrong. No, to everybody is wrong. No, well, that's your opinion, to me it's not wrong. I mean, he like it to look at him. Right. That's what's. Uh, that's what is gagging me, right. literally. Right. All this is a gag. All the gag. No, because y'all, y'all just sit here thinking like, like I'm just this bad person. No, and you're not even planning on this stuff. You want to keep going. For you to sit here and say like, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's cool. They shouldn't. If they get scammed, then it's their fault. Like that's not real talk. That's you trying to justify your behavior and not feel bad about it. I'm not justifying anything. It's just what I do. I do what I do, and I do what I do, and I don't want to be judged for it. Okay. Hey, Neven Cammy. My name is Leanna. Today I woke up in a good mood for once. I'm 19 years old, and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. I went on Tinder and started searching for the one. I was 19, she's searching for the one. I was really blinded by love once I saw this attractive military pilot named Jordan. He was the exact type of man I was looking for. He was successful and sweet. He made me feel special, like a princess on cloud nine. Horses and carriage type of feels. Oh. I don't have a ton of experience with dating, and Jordan became my first real boyfriend. He was based in California, but is from Vegas. So we were waiting until he was on leave to meet. We were a couple, so I helped him out financially and was happy to do it because I thought he loved me. But when I told my friends about him, they thought he sounded really shady. I thought they were being paranoid at first, but then I did some digging online. Oh no, no. My heart literally broke at what I found. I get so sick of myself. He had been using fake photos. I confronted him and he admitted it. I was glad he was finally being honest, but then he did something really painful. Now, I don't know what to do. I just want to find out who this person is and find this man who broke my heart. But I don't forget to Thank you, Leanna. So, you met Jordan. Yeah. All right, so tell us the details. So, I went on Tinder and I found this one attractive person. I'm like, oh my God, he's godlike, Adonis type of person. Mm. So, you know, I swiped and then he swiped on me and I was like, bet, it's on. Did you love him? Of course, yeah, yeah. It definitely felt like cloud nine. It was, it was a different type of feeling. And what kind of things were you guys talking about? We were talking about seeing each other because he said he was out here. Oh, he said he was in Vegas too? Yes, and he was like, yeah, I'm going to see you. And then he backs up and be like, oh, I just got deployed. I got sent back to Cali. Oh, I'm not going to see you. Did you ask him to FaceTime or video chat? Of course. His excuse was, oh, I only FaceTime people I'm close with. Then once we started getting serious and we were like boyfriend, girlfriend, he still didn't FaceTime. He really playing me like I'm boo-boo the fool. When did you start sending him money? At first, he started asking for small amounts. The max was like $30. He started asking for $7 for food, weed. Um, and I started questioning once he said weed because aren't you in the military? You're not supposed to be smoking. So how much do you think you sent him? Once I checked the Cash App log, it said 4,000. I was like, yeah, like I was working a lot. 
And I had like a lot of money saved up. Girl, call your mom. Tell her to come here. <laughs> we need to talk. Are you kidding? I wish I was. I picked up those jobs to support me paying bills on my own. Wait, so he asked for that much? Yeah, so there's a story behind that. He's like, my cousin, he wants some pizza. He wants some food. I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna give you know your cousin some pizza. And then I met with his cousin like in person. You met him? Yeah, yeah. How many times? Three times, yeah. Here, like he met you somewhere? Or you went and met him? Apparently where he lived at, I guess. Okay, and who's? what's the deal with his cousin? You know his name? No. It was just, you know, like a one and done, pick up the money, then go about his How life. much cash did you give him? The most I gave him was $600. Well, for what? That's a lot of pizza. Why did he need all this money? Because one time he said, my cousin, he wants a PS5. I was like, okay, cool. And I drove over to his cousin's and I gave him $600. Hold on, so you drive over there, do you have the cousin's number? No, I only have the address. So you go to the address, you ring the bell. What happens? I don't ring the bell. I was on the phone with him as I'm like, with as I'm- Jordan. Yeah. He told me like, let me go call my cousin real quick. And then that's when his cousin comes to the front. Cause apparently he doesn't want me to know the unit number or something like that. So it's like a, an apartment building or a complex? It was an, yeah, an apartment complex. Did you talk to the cousin? <laughs> Do you guys like insane. speak to each other? Or no, just, it was just mutual high and by, that's it. And when you heard his voice, it didn't sound anything like Jordan's? No, not really, no. This is insane. This is crazy. Yeah. I want to know, what is this man telling you that is possessing you to send thousands of dollars? I did stupid things because I, just for a feeling. It was the feeling like he chased me down. I didn't have to do the chasing no more. That's the feeling that I liked. So at what point did you realize that he was scamming you? So how I found out was I searched all the pictures he sent me, and then I found an influencer account for this one dude, Lee. And I'm like, oh, this is Lee. It's not Jordan. So then that's when I was like, that's kind of weird. And then once he started speaking, I knew it wasn't him instantly because the voice was softer than his deep voice. There's somebody sitting over there. You see him? Like he's ready. Who is that? All right, why don't we go talk to this kid and see if he's who we think he is. Hey, man, are you... Oh, my God. So you're in the... I'm sorry. Are you who I was texting with? Yeah. So Jordan or what? what's your name? Damari. Damari, the cousin. Yeah. Got it. Oh my God. Hi, I'm Cammy. This is Cammy. What was it? Damari. Damari. Yeah. Yeah. Like the guy said. Yeah. This is the guy that you met and gave money to, right? Okay, obviously you know this is Leanna. And as I'm sure you can imagine, she's very upset. I am very curious as to your side of the story. So you are the only person that Leanna ever talked to, right? It was you on the Tinder profile, you on the phone, and you in person. Yep. Right, so there was never a cousin. No. You were the cousin. Yes. Okay. How old are you? 20. 20, okay. And did you start talking to Leanna with the intention of trying to get money from her? Yes. Okay, so it was never that you were on Tinder actually trying to meet someone? No. So I'm gonna guess that there are other people you talked to as the fake yeah. Jordan guy. Mm -hmm. And have you received money from any of those people? No. Why not? Um, so I was scared to do it in the first place, so. But she was so easy to get, so I started asking her. So do you still talk to girls as Jordan? No. Do you still have the Tinder profile? No. No. Why did you stop using it? Because, like, this situation scared me. You mean after she found out and was upset and threatened you, at which point you sort of threatened her? Yep. I was scared because she rung up the police in it, so. so I was scared. You can't blame her for being upset and feeling like she got robbed. I mean, I know initially that she was just sending you little bits of money, but like when you add it all up, plus the cash, like it's thousands of dollars. What, what were you doing with that money? Um, just buying anything I wanted every day. Is that because you don't have a job? Or did you not have a job at the time? I didn't have a job at the time. You don't have a job. I, I'm tired of being cute and classy. You have no remorse. 
You are a bum! You're a bum, I'm sorry, you're a bum. You're a bum. You don't have a job, so get a job. Do you even know what hard work means? I worked hard for 